It shouldn't be. It shouldn't. This, uh, if you're allowed to have one lifestyle game, one game that you just splurge on, that's the one thing. It doesn't matter how many there are. It's the. It doesn't how much matter how much you spend on it. it. It's just something that makes you happy to have. That you spend time playing with. That you want to to continue to delve into and to find more exciting ways to play it. To bring all of your friends into the the group and and all experience it together. You should be allowed to choose what game that is. I didn't get to choose what game that was. It chose me, and I don't appreciate that. I don't think that's flocking right. I don't think it's right. I think I should have the ability to make the conscious decision of the game that I want to spend the majority of my money on. Now, don't get me wrong. I've spent a great deal of money on this game, more than I want to tell my wife about or that my kids need to know I've spent on this particular game. But it is that for me. And I just came to the realization today that this is my game when we started putting it in this box. Uh, this is Jesse's copy, by the way. Mine's at home because it weighs too much to move around. I would never be able to bring this with me here without extreme amounts of frustration because this box weighs like 55 or 60 pounds. It's ridiculous, but I love it. I want it. I want to have it. I want more of it. I want all of the Too Many Bones things, and I want all of lots of things. Don't get me wrong, but I have to have all of these, and I came to the realization today when we were putting all the things inside this box that this is my thing. It's my lifestyle game because Jesse was putting the dice away incorrectly. Yes, I said putting the dice away incorrectly because in my mind they should be organized in one particular way with the numbers going the right directions, and he he didn't care. It didn't bother him. It, it might have bothered him, but it bothered me more. And so he wanted to make sure that he continued to rub it in that it was bothering me. So I it just, and I couldn't get over the fact that he didn't care enough to put it in correctly. And then I'm asking myself, nothing bothers me. Like it really is hard to get on my nerves. Like you have to insult my family or you have to like literally hurt me in some way or you have to do something like there's one or two other things that bother me. But I'm not going to say them out loud, uh, but apparently making not taking too many bones seriously is something that is going to bother me. And I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that it bothers me because this isn't the game that I want to be my lifestyle game, but it is. It is my lifestyle game. It's, it is the one game that I will never get rid of. Regardless of how much, I've played it so many times. I've played every single boss. I've played Splice and Dice multiple bosses. Now I will say that I've not really delved into the 40 days in Daylor. I need to. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm mad. I'm really mad that this is my game. I, I, don't, I don't understand why I'm mad, but I'm mad that this is my game. I wanted it to be something else. I don't know what else it would be, obviously, but this is my game. What's your game? If someone starts messing with your stuff, what's the one game that you'll be like, don't touch that? You're not allowed to touch that. My children play this game with me, but they're not allowed to open my box. Now I understand why. They're not allowed to go in the trove chest to get anything out. They're allowed to roll the dice. They're allowed to use the mats. They're allowed to play with the cards because they're, it's nearly impossible to break it. But there's a potential that this could get broken, so they're not allowed to play with it. They're not even allowed to touch the, the magnet on the top. Wow, that irritates me. Because I didn't even think about it until right now. Because I let them play with anything. Pretty much any game that's in my collection, they can grab the box and they can open it up and they can pull the things out, which leads to a lot of the boxes having broken lids and a card that's bent occasionally, but they have reverence enough not to lose my pieces because that's not allowed. But this, they're not allowed to touch. Wow. I really, that, it really irritates me that this is my game, but I love it but I don't want it to be. I want it to be something else. I don't know why I want it to be something else. I can't think in my head why there's another game that I want it to be, but I don't think I consciously made a choice to say this is my lifestyle game. This is my favorite game, because it's not. Too Many Bones is not my favorite game. It's in my top 10, but it's not my favorite. 
And I feel like for a lifestyle game, it should be your favorite game. It should be that one game where if you have the time to show to someone, it's the one game that you're going to go to. And this is never that game. It's a game that I set up time and play with my friends and I will introduce people to and we'll have a wonderful time playing, but it's a slog to get through for a first time player and I never have more than one extra person as a first time player because it's just too hard to teach everybody because every single character is different. Every single time you play, you're gonna be messing around with the rules, you're gonna get something wrong, guaranteed. There's gonna be a question that you don't know the answer to, so you're gonna have to go into one of these four or five different rule books and figure out the answer. And that's frustrating because even me, I've played, like I said, 40, 50 games at this point, easy. And I, I still have to go into the rule book. So that's why I feel like this can't be my lifestyle game, but it is. I mean, my favorite game is Manus Falls. Every opportunity I get to get that game out, I will 100% get that game out. And I will teach every new person I have the chance to teach because I love that game. It's my favorite game. This is not my favorite game, but I will play it with anyone who wants to play it. But we have to get a time together. We have to get ready for it. It's going to be a four and a half hour slog, but we're going to have a great time doing it. But it's my lifestyle game. Why? Why is it my lifestyle game? Ah, oh, that's irritating. But I do love it. I do. But I don't want to in that way. I want to have the opportunity to create my own, like to, to, to decide looking through all the different games that are out there. Like what if, what if Final Girl is my lifestyle game? I mean, I have all the things for that. There's not more than that. But this is, this is my lifestyle game. It's like I'm in a relationship, like a long, long marriage. Like, you know, those guys who are 80 years old, and they walk behind their wife and they're always muttering about how she's not doing, no, you can't do this, it's not what I want to do with my time, it's not what I'm going to do it together. But, and then, but he loves her and he stays with her because he does love her. And I stay with this because I love it, but it irritates me and I'm irritated that it's my lifestyle game, but it is, it is. What the flock? Oh, well, it is what it is.